All right, let's talk about um, choosing celibacy, choosing to be alone, all right? Um, and it is a choice because the options are kind of endless, especially when you make a choice like this. It's like every every temptation comes out of the woodworks and they're like, but come on, look, I've got the beard. Look, I've got these abs. <laughs> you know, it's like, but it's like, I reached a point um, through my spiritual journey where I just, I don't have any interest <laughs> in that. It's almost like I got to a point in my journey, um, you know, of realizing like, yeah, I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. And at this point, sex just kind of feels like bestiality, <laughs> you know, it just kind of feels like, you know, it's like, like, I look at, at people, especially in their low vibrations and their, like, you know, in their mindsets and shit, and it's just, like, letting where I'm at, you know, and there's, like, this transference of energy that happens when you have sex with somebody, and they take your energy, um, you take on their energy, right? And as you can see, I'm a whole ball of light, <laughs> and it just depletes me, honestly. It depletes me because then I get stuck with a low vibration, and and then I'm in their headspace for a while, and I don't like that. Being a Hayoka, a super empath, that's really fucking hard, you know, um, <clears throat> because I am so susceptible to whatever they're feeling, whatever their mindset is. You know, um, and that's kind of why the Hayoka live kind of a lonely path. Well, I wouldn't even say lonely. I, I don't feel alone. I just, I don't even feel lonely. <laughs> you know, it's a, but you know, to choose to walk alone in the third dimension, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, <clears throat> you don't want to take on all their shit. Honestly, like bottom line, that's. But it is, you don't want to take on all their shit. Um, you don't want to be stuck in their energy, you know? It's like, you know, nothing is worse than just feeling like, like they drained you of all that you are. And you have to go and work extra hard to replenish yourself of all that you are. It's like being a fire and then throwing water on it, you know, it's like, that's, that's what sex is like for a Hayoka, um, so, yeah, um, and I know a lot of people are like, you know, they, they really want that companionship, they really want all those things, and what's funny about all this is, like, the very things that people enjoy about relationships seem to be the very thing that I don't <laughs> you know it seems to be the very thing that you know like I don't want somebody clinging on to me I don't want anybody trying to hold my hand <laughs> I don't want anybody trying to be all like Psh. you know I feel trapped in another's arms I feel like that's a prison that's a cage <laughs> get me out of that <laughs> you know um and you know I can like I have like been able to enjoy it for like a short amount of time, you know, where I could enjoy it for a few weeks, a month, whatever, and it's like, but then as soon as I, I really start investing, then I feel like my energy is depleted completely, like somebody, it, it's like being siphoned, you know, it's like being siphoned, um, being a Hayoka, you know, you, uh, kind of attract the people who want to take your energy, um, rather than, give you energy, you know, <laughs> and, like, um, I'm sure it would be different if there was, like, that, that were, that shared whatever, probably not, probably not, because I've already experienced too much, um, honestly, it's, <laughs> I've already experienced too much in the relationship realm to want to go back to that, um, I've kind of, I, I've, 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 you know, I've dedicated my life to my purpose and to God and, you know, just all that I do here, I really enjoy that. Um, it is what brings me happiness, you know, this is what brings that joy in my life. Just putting in this work, doing this, talking to you guys, you know, um, and I mean, 
but not like talking to you guys, you know, and that's something that I wish people would understand too, is like, I can talk for a little bit, probably, but don't rely on me being that day in, day out, talking to you all the goddamn time, because you know what, that's just not me either. That's another thing I hate about relationships, is the constant having to talk to somebody. Like, I just, it's not right for me. I don't like it. It fucks me all the way up, you know? And it's like, so yeah, I I choose I choose a different path. I choose the road less traveled, as Robert Frost would say, you know. Um, and I and I love it. I absolutely love it. I have a smile on my face more often than not, <laughs> you know. I I just enjoy life. I enjoy existing. It's simple. You know, like, there's not a whole lot of complications, there's nobody to really answer to, there's, you know, it's just, it is what it is, um, and, yeah, I, 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 I just want to focus on building myself up, because I've noticed in relationships that really there's a sense of other people don't build you up in relationships. You know, like, that that's the intention, you know, and that's, you know, and even if you're in the best case scenario with relationships, which I have been, right, I've had, I've had awesome exes, I've had people who are freaking amazing, um, the thing is, is even still, there's a selfish nature about relationships, even on my end, even from my perspective, me, myself, um, and that is that there is a limiting factor. Like, there's always that you can't fully live the life you want to fully live because it contradicts whatever we're doing here, you know, or it goes against whatever we're doing here. And I don't like that either. I don't like being that guy either, you know. I, you know, I just, do I want to be with somebody who's at strip clubs all the time? No. <laughs> Am I going to tell somebody not to be in strip clubs all the time? No. You know, because I've been there, done that. I, you know, and I just, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to be like, you know, if, if people are living up to the standard, I don't want to be like trying to push them in to this round hole, you know, when they're square pegs. You know, I don't want to be like cutting around their edges to make sure that they fit in. You know, it's just, it, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If their ideals don't match up, it don't match up. And I see it this way. If God really wanted me to, to be in union with somebody, I'd have my perfect match. I'd have somebody who is an exact perfect match, right? Like, it would be there. It would be very cut and dry. This is it. Um... And I mean, he exists, but the beautiful thing about it is he exists feeling the same way. <laughs> so it's kind of like, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we don't need all that shit. Um, so yeah, it's like, I don't even need that, you know? It's kind of like, we, I got to this point, I hit 30, and I just had this great awakening, and I was like, it opened my eyes to everything. Everything just kind of seems like such a fucking drag in relationships. You know what I noticed about not having a relationship? I ain't having drama. <laughs> okay. I don't have somebody in my face all the time. I don't have people trying to drag me down, you know? Um, I get to put on whatever music I want. If I want to bake brownies all day, I'm going to do that. <laughs> if I want to drink coffee well into the middle of the night, guess what? I'm going to do that. If I want to read taboo books, I can, you know? And by taboo, I mean this. <laughs> you know, that's a 12th planet. Shit that, you know, I can be up all night doing that. I ain't got somebody like, come on, it's time for bed. Let's go to sleep. I'm tired. You know, it's like, I, I ain't got all that. Um... I'm like, I'm on my fifth cup of coffee. <laughs> I can't. You know? And that's also part of being chosen. You know, um, we don't really talk about that much on this channel, but let's talk about it. You know, many are called, few are chosen. It's like, 
some people, and, and I feel like being chosen is also, um, it's mutual, like you choose, right? Um, but you know you're set apart from day one. You know you're set apart from your birth. Um, as soon as you come into this world, people are like, damn, you're weird, you're different, you're strange, you think weird, <laughs> you know, whatever. They always tell you that, that you're always so different, and you're always so, and you know, you're in this world, but you're not of this world. Grow up your whole life feeling like a fucking alien, feeling like a bonobo, being raised by chimps, right? If bonobos look like chimps and all that, but they are not like chimps, you know, <laughs> like, um, they're just not. Um... It's like a chimps are very primal, very aggro, very like, bah, you know, still trapped in their hierarchies. Whereas bonobos are like, they walk up and because sex is a primal form of love, but that is their language. They walk up, they have sex, they're like, nice to meet you, you know. <laughs> and like, if somebody tries to, you know, if they start getting a little like, eh, you know, they're having beef or whatever, they just have sex, they bang it out, they become friends. You know, even there's... Uh, you know, whether they're female, female, male, male, there's no weird, like, homophobia. It's just all love. Love is the language of the bonobo. And so, imagine being a bonobo, being raised by a bunch of chimps, right? That's me, except my love language is not so primal. It's not in sex. It's, like, literally, like, universal love like this. There's a light of love inside of me, and it's just like, you know, and it's like... I don't know that I could just give all of my love to one person anymore. I've tried that. Um, but then they, they snuffed me out. <laughs> they snuffed me out. And, um, I'm just not meant to be snuffed out like that. I'm meant to do this. I'm meant to be a light worker. You know, I don't live in the shadows. I don't live in the shadows of anybody or anything. Um, <clears throat> and that's kind of a beautiful thing, you know, and... When you're, when you're chosen and your path is kind of set from day one, you see, you watch your friends. They get married, they have kids, they do all the things. And I did too. I got married, I had kids, but they enjoy it. You know, they enjoy it. They're like, you see all their pictures, you're just like, ah, you know, and it's like, for me, I, I mean, I love being a mom. That's bottom line. I love being a mom. That's make no mistake there but any other relationship there it's like I literally only needed relationships to have kids like I literally only needed them to be fruitful and multiply okay and then once I did that I don't need shit <laughs> I don't need shit I tried to invest my emotions in people and I failed myself over and over and over and over because I was trying to project into them what I needed to inject into me. You know, what I needed, I, I needed to love myself more. I needed to respect myself more to not give so much of a fuck, you know? And the weird thing happens too when you make this decision, when you're like, fine, I'll be alone. I don't need them. <laughs> you know, you get in that mindset and you're like, um, and then all of a sudden, everybody people who have rejected you in the past people who have like um and believe me as a hyoka you experience more rejection than the average human or as a chosen you know like you experience more rejection uh than the average person people are like no you are way too fucking weird you are no <laughs> you know and it's like okay okay goodbye um but yeah so um yeah and but all these people kind of show up and they're like, hey, you're different. I like that now. <laughs> and all of a sudden they want you and you're like, I should have hit me up back then. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> like, um, yeah. And that's, that's kind of the, uh, a funny thing. Cause it's like, yeah, like you do experience a lot of rejection. It's like, People are intimidated by your energy, by your nature, by the fact that you don't live in the same constructs, the same boxes, you know, you're just like, I don't want to. Um, people are not really an authority to you. You answer to one authority, you know, <laughs> and that's kind of why I'm making this video, actually. I was going to do tarot readings and it was 
hidden heavy on the soul or they're like, come on, you know the video you need to make. You need to talk about this path. You need to talk about it. And because somebody out there is getting it, somebody else out there is understanding. And being a Hyoga, like everybody and their mother wants to say that they're chosen. Everybody and their mother wants to say that they're cut from that cloth. The thing is, it takes a lot of sacrifice and a lot of spine to be this. And the thing is, <laughs> it's not like you just wake up one day and you pray and I'm like, and you're like, all right, that's it, I'm chosen. No, you're in this world, but you're not of this world. You were chosen to come to this world to do this work. You were chosen to sacrifice since before you got here. That's the separation here. You can feel it in the energy when you're around another chosen or another Hyoka. You can feel it in their Sigma energy. They don't, it ain't about Alpha and Beta. They ain't competing. They ain't trying to be better than anybody else. They're sitting there aside like, okay, cute games, guys, but like, I ain't part of your fucking hierarchies here. I'm not part of your little shit here. I don't give a fuck about that. People will try to compete with you. People will try to compare themselves to you. And you're like, dude, we ain't even the same fucking species. We're not even the same fucking thing. You can't compare yourself to to me. I'm a bonobo and you're a chimpanzee. Or, you know, like, you know, it's just, there is no comparison. There is no competing. There is no, don't even try. Don't even want to be like me. Because you know what? My road is a road of sacrifice. My road is a road of being alone, you know, and that's, that's how you really know a chosen. That's how you really know a chosen is everything fails when you try to connect with humans in that way. When you try to connect with them, you try to have companions, you try to do that, you can procreate, and that's literally all you really need to do in that aspect, right? Spread the high okas, you know, <laughs> like, um, but, yeah, because it's just really, you're not cut from the same cloth, <laughs> you know, you're not the same thing, um, and it's not, not just anybody gets this job, it's, this job was something that we took on when we came here, you know, and a lot of us understand that, that's why we... Like, there's people here who lack empathy, who literally cannot listen to the divine. They cannot hear it. Okay, you can't tell me that's the same as me because I do. You know, I feel it in my soul. I have that spirit of discernment. People don't cross me, <laughs> you know, and when they do cross me, then the Almighty is like, what did you just do? What, what did you just say? Rain hell on them. <laughs> Rain hell on them. Like Sodom and Gomorrah. You fuck with my angels. You know? So, I I don't even need to fight my own battles. You know? It's a beautiful thing. But that's, that's also another thing. Is you get to a point of being such a pacifist that you're no longer even trying to fight your battles. You know? You're not even trying. People will come at you trying to fight with you over fucking everything. Trying to fight with me about God. Trying to fight with me about my spirituality. Trying to fight with me about fucking anything. And the thing is, you can try. <laughs> but I don't exist in that realm of giving a fuck. Right? I don't exist in that realm of needing your approval for shit. My thought processes, what I know to be true, what I've experienced in my life, I don't fucking need your opinion. I don't need your validation on that. I will not fight you on this. I don't need you to think. I don't need you to agree with me. <laughs> I don't need you to believe like I do either. I'm not here to convert you. I'm not here to convert fucking anybody. I'm here to spread the light of God. I will spread the messages to those who fucking want it. And if you don't really fucking want that, if you're so hung up on the human aspects of life that you just can't see it, I pull my hand. Pull my hand from that situation because I'm no longer a service. Because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to be a light. And that's it. And to find the other Hyokas <laughs> so that they know, <laughs> like, we got this. Um, 
our purpose will remain. We're still going to fucking do the shit. We're still going to do the work. We're here to work for God. Okay, we we are under a contract, okay? We signed the contract long ago. And yeah, you show up forgetting about it. But it's like almost, it's literally, almost everyone I've talked to, it's like you hit 30. The awakening happens and then you remember who the fuck you are and you're like, oh shit. Oh shit, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Even Jesus, he was a chosen. He was a high okay. He's how old was he? 30? Who <laughs> when he fucking what about the Buddha? What about Muhammad? <laughs> you know? Let's talk about the prophets. Let's talk about the chosen. Because Well, I don't know so much about Muhammad. I, I you know I ain't even gonna talk about that. But <laughs> Um, some people had an agenda, okay? Um, but the thing is, is the chosen know they're chosen. They know they're different. They know they're set apart from day one. But then they try. They try and they try to fit into this idea. They try and they try to be part of this world, to do all these things. We're just not meant for it. Bottom line, we're just not fucking meant for it. Um, and it's like, I literally cannot care what anybody thinks about my path or my journey. I, I don't care. And I've had people, like, call me tormented um, because I didn't want to be in a relationship because I was alone or whatever. And I was like, did anybody say that to Jesus? Did anybody say that to the Buddha? Does anybody say that to the Dalai Lama or the Pope? No, it's because I'm a fucking woman. God forbid I choose celibacy. God forbid I choose higher purpose. You know? I'm just not here for that. I'm just not here for it. <laughs> okay? I can't give all my light to one person. That's not what I was meant for. You know, and when you live in higher purpose, you can't escape it, <laughs> okay? You're going to be reminded. The medicine will come to you. You will be awakened. <laughs> You'll be awakened through your ceremony. People will bring you to it. I was, I was trying so hard to be all science, to try to ignore it. And then I found God through science. <laughs> it's like every time... I got mad at God. I'm like, why am I different? Why is this? Why this? Or why that? Why this? Da, 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 blah, blah, blah. I got mad and I was like, fine, you don't exist. <laughs> and God's like, yes, I fucking do. Here you go. Here's all the scientific evidence. And I still felt it. I still felt the messages in my soul. I still, I still heard the voice there, <laughs> you know, not, not like how you would think. You know, but the spirit of discernment was discernment was always upon me. You know, the spirit of knowing was always upon me. My my ability to really and that's where all this comes from. I don't need these cards. I don't need these cards. <laughs> I can talk to you, and we can do this without the cards. The thing is, the cards are something for you to look at, right? The cards are for you. <laughs> I could put a crystal ball here. <laughs> I could put your hand here. <laughs> Whatever the case is, that's just for you. As soon as I connect your energy, it's there. The message is there and it's clear. Um, and I feel like most people know that and understand that, you know. But I don't need this. This is... I mean, it's fun. I like it. I like pulling the cards. I like the imagery. I like all that. Um, I don't need it, though. Because the spirit is on me. The spirit will give me the messages that you need. If I wanted to, I could just sit here and give you the messages that you need right now. I don't need that. Um, I want it. Because it's pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but you, you see, like, and I've always been that way. I've always been that way. Um, but it really took me having my great awakening and really just actualizing my purpose here and really being stripped of all the things that I didn't need. 
for God to be like, quit getting distracted. You don't need boys. <laughs> you don't need girls. <laughs> you don't need all this shit. You don't even need friends, really. <laughs> you know, it's like, go be by yourself. Be with me. Choose me. And I, all that you need will be brought upon you, right? Bestowed upon you. God is my my mother, my father, my parent, <laughs> right? And if God is my parent and God is the most high, then that makes me an heir to the throne, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, come on. And you don't see a princess just m mixing up with anybody, right? Uh, or... Even in Earth Angel, right? Let's call them Earth Angels, Fallen Angels, whatever you gotta call them. You know, whatever you gotta call them. Jin, I don't know. There's been words created forever for us. I would prefer Hyoka, okay? But like, you know, we're meant for more here, and we're we can't we can't mix like this. And so you know, and you get it if you get it. You don't if you don't. You know, and it's just kind of bottom line, cut and dry. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Because for other people who might be on the journey, who fucking get it, you know, who might need this message right now. Yeah, you're not alone. But you're not meant to be in a companionship with humans either. Um, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> Namaste. I love you all. I'm going to get on these readings. Bye.